Hi, I'm Lou and this is Evolutionary Eats, a study of grub. One thing a lot of people really hate to do, oh, oh, I said H word, dislike doing is grocery shopping. I'm here to help you get control back. There's a lot of things that are related to the stresses of grocery shopping. One of them is time and the other one, major one, is the budget. So. I'm going to help you get that all under control. One thing you have to do is you have to have a list. And thank you, Buzz, for crunching on your food. I'm going to keep going. That's my cat. He's eating. He's studying his grub. Anyway, um, one thing you have to do is have a list. So uh, this is a list system that I developed uh, a long time ago when I needed to get control of my grocery shopping nightmare. And this is something I do every week. I have a list of the meals on one side and then the rest of this is related to the items that I need to m make those meals or other things that I need. I also keep a running list on the refrigerator of things that I've run out of, things that I need, additional items for new recipes that I'm trying so I don't l miss out on those things. Okay, so you got your list. The next thing you got to do is you have to have an inventory done. You have to get into your pantry and take a look around and see what you need. If there is a specialty item that you need, put it on the list. If there's something that you're getting low on or something you know you're going to run out of, put it on the list. It's not that hard. It's a pretty easy thing to do. You don't have to tear the whole pantry apart to do it because if I did it, it would take me three or four days to take everything out and then put it back in so that's not really time friendly. So do that little inventory. The next thing you have to decide is where you're gonna go shop shopping. I live in Austin, Texas. I am blessed by a few really great grocery short store chains um, and really happy that they are here. One of them, of course, is Whole Foods, born and raised here in Austin, Texas. And the other one is, another big one is uh, HEB. And there are a few other ones, some national companies and some regional companies. And they do something that I really love, Whole Foods and HEB. They put out a magazine. And inside this magazine, there's recipes, there's meal ideas, there are things, little reminders about holidays, seasonal food that's available. All of that is in here. Another thing that they do, is they print coupons for us. So you, what you can do is clip these out for items that you need. One of my favorite things, the little crackers down here. And I'll clip that thing out, attach it with a paper clip to my list, and I'm good to go. Coupons are a great way to save some money. If you have the time to do it, it's wonderful. If, it, if you don't, that's fine too. Uh, there are a lot of people around that uh, are spending next to nothing on their groceries because they're using coupons, rebates, all of those things. There's a lot of sources for rebates. One of, the, one of them, of course, is, are these magazines. Uh, your local newspaper probably has some coupons in it, either weekly or bi-weekly, sometimes a little, little more often. And of course, the number one place these days to get coupons is over the internet. So I actually printed a few out this week for myself. So. Go look on the internet. There's a lot of different sites that you can get into and get those coupons done. So you know where you're gonna go. You got your coupons, you got your list, you're getting control back. So the next thing you gotta decide is when you're gonna go. Maybe you need to go after work. Maybe you need to go first thing on a Saturday morning. Maybe you need to go in the middle of the night. And trust me, in the middle of the night, there aren't too many people at the grocery store. Some of them can be a little scary but there are lots of opportunities throughout the day to go shopping. So think about the best time for you. Make sure you plan on devoting about an hour to get those groceries done. Um, it might take you a little more, it might take you a little less. The more prepared you are with your list, your coupons, all of that, the better it is. Another thing that's very helpful, helpful that a lot of grocery stores do is they plant, uh, print out uh, maps. So, I can look at this and go, I need barbecue sauce. Oh, it's on aisle one. Very handy. Again, another thing that they do is they'll give you a store guide. 
And again, it lists all of their general items that they have. And on here, let's see, I need Asian foods. I need soy sauce. So aisle one, that's the place that I'm going to go. Great way to be organized. And the nice thing about this too is that you can put the aisle number next to the item that you need. Be thinking. All right, last thing is about the plan. Try hard to stick to the plan, but allow for some flexibility. One thing I keep in my pantry is what my husband and I call punt meals. It's basically food assembly. I have a jar of our favorite pasta sauce. I have pounds of our favorite pasta. I have, yes, canned chicken and canned tuna. I buy the good stuff, all right? And when I only have 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to cook a meal, I pull those things out, I'm done in 15 minutes. We have a meal. And it's actually pretty well balanced. I always keep parm in the fridge back there. So keep those things in mind when you do this. And always, always, always buy the best food that you can afford. Don't let anybody talk you into things you can't afford. Buy the best that you can afford. Keep that budget in mind. All right, done with this. In a few minutes, I'm gonna come back and one of the things on my list was a red dill potato salad or a dilled red potato salad. Either way, it's delicious. Come back in a couple of minutes and show you how to make it. It's wonderful. Thanks.